Yes, loves, it is time for my straight hair routine. I'm going to be showing you how I transform my curly, afro textured hair into straight hair without any heat damage. First things first, you need to take care of basics. We need to remove any buildup of product on the hair. And for that, I'm using the Clean Rinse by Camille Rose Naturals. It takes everything off while maintaining a moisturized feel to the hair. Then I go in with my Moroccan pair conditioning custard which my hair absolutely loves it's so nourishing it has Moroccan pear oil it has coconut oil aloe really really good stuff next I reach for the quinoa and bamboo line by design essentials I love this line whenever I'm applying heat to my hair it is super strengthening so I go in with the liquid strengthening mask which you spray throughout the hair and you can immediately feel the strengthening effect um, that this has on the hair which is really important important before you straighten your hair because obviously it's putting your hair through some stress no matter how careful you are so I apply this and I immediately feel my hair being strengthened I'm especially liberal with application towards the ends then I need to allow five minutes and after five minutes I go in with the leave-in conditioning sealant from the range and um, together both of these uh, offer me some heat protection and it's easily absorbed because it's got stuff like hydrolyzed amino acids so even if you've got low porosity hair like myself it's easily absorbed finally I use the fresh curl revitalizing hair smoother which has got loads of moisturizing agents including avocado and castor oil in them and I find that, that really nicely balances the protein that I have from the quinoa and bamboo line and then I put my hair into sections ready to roll with the blow dryer so what I'm doing here is I am applying a high blast but me medium heat temperature to the hair and you really want to take your time here you want to have a certain amount of tension in the hair but make sure that you're not pulling too taut really important that you get the stage right because it means that you're going to have to do less work with the straighteners later and you're going to have to use less passes and therefore you are not going to incur any heat damage so really take your time with this stage so I repeat the same process on the other side of my hair, again taking my time to make sure it's blown out properly. Now here's a little trick that I learned when I was at the Afro Hair and Beauty Show. You can see here this blower is quite decent but there is still quite a bit of texture to the hair and I want to get this as smooth as possible. So I reapply water to the ends and the reason I'm doing that is the ends did not get enough tension because as you got to the ends it got quite thin so there's not enough tension in the hair to hold it taut when applying the heat so the solution is to put several clusters of the ends of the hair together and then allow it to be dampened because that again allows you to manipulate the, the style and uh, change the shape of it whilst using heat and then once you're brushing through there is enough tension at the ends of the hair to actually allow them to be so so much smoother so I'm going to show you so this is the section before I use this method and this is the same section afterwards again there's still texture to the hair but the ends are a lot straighter and that's great if you want to you know rock your hair just in a blowout but tame it a little bit further and also to minimize the heat that you use afterwards so you can see the left and the right massive massive difference so that's a secret little hack Shh. So at this point the majority of the work has been done and it's time to apply the straighteners. So what I'm going to be doing is using the chase method and I'm going to be taking a section of my hair roughly about an inch in size and I am going to apply the straighteners to the roots with a couple of passes. So I do three passes to the roots and then I go throughout the hair using the chase method. So that is where you have a brush and then you 
follow the brush with the hair and a straightener. So I go over that hair with two passes. This is actually the Vanity Planet hair straightener. What was really good is that you can use the plus and minus things on the side and actually set the temperature at the one that you wanted. Like I say, use this at 350 degrees as a maximum and you could actually lock it as well. I really like the ergonomic design of this. It's really, really smooth and nice to hold. And it had like a 360 degree swivel to the cord. And yeah, I, I thought that it was very, very effective. I've got a discount code, which takes these straighteners down from 200 to $60. And I'm gonna leave that, it's a 70% discount. I'm gonna leave the details of that in the description box below this video. The next and final thing that I do is just to make sure that my ends are not too fly away, I apply a very small amount, literally like probably like four drops of argan oil to the ends of my hair and the very remnants are uh, used through the rest of my hair. So you can see that my hair is pretty straight. I was very aware of two things, minimizing the possibility of heat damage um, and that was my priority here over getting my hair bone straight. Bear in mind, I did actually film this after giving my daughter a bath and it was a very humid day. Uh, so this is my hair slightly affected by that. But I still think it's pretty straight and I loved my results. If you like this video, please, please, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. Also, check me out on Snapchat, guys. I'm pretty active on Snapchat um, and I will see you over there. Okay, love you. Bye. I'm so excited to try this. I might even do like a challenge. Okay, you be an angel then. You be an angel. Ah, you being an angel. Should I marry my girl? Listen, wait up. Hold up. She fly, love God, and she got a good mind. Oh, boy, this is left. Gotta take it when it comes. Clean on this face. Don't be as stupid, I got.